So in the first video I did on flower dissection, we talked about one of the monocotyledons. A monocotyledon, if you remember, is a plant, uh, if you watch the video on monocots versus dicots, it's a simple type of flower. Flower parts are in multiples of three. Well, there's a whole other group of flowers, a whole other group of plants, it's called the dicotyledons. And these are plants that have flower parts in groups of four or five, multiples of four or five. The magnolia is one of those flowers. So in this particular uh, flower dissection that we're gonna do, parts of a flower part two, uh, we're gonna be talking about a dicotyledon, which is the magnolia. This particular species name is grandiflora which is nerd for big flower. And you can see it's like a really big flower. These, these are like the symbol of the South. They're beautiful, beautiful flowers. Amazingly fragrant, fantastic flowers. So let's go ahead and clean up some of these leaves under here. And let's get down to where the flower parts are. Here we go. And I think that is it. We have nothing but flower parts left now. All right. So just like with the monocotyledons, the flower parts, we have sepals for the corolla of the flower. We have sepals and we have petals. The sepals are the ones on the outside that would have originally protected the bud, protected the bud. And there are four of those. There's a large one right here, right here, right there, and right there. Now, as is true with a lot of these, uh, in the magnolia, the sepals actually turn the same color as the petals. That is not true of all flowers. Some flowers, the sepals stay green and the petals are what have the color. And other flowers, such as the one, um, uh, the uh, spurge nettle, for instance, that's a flower that doesn't have any petals at all. It only has sepals, and those sepals happen to be white. I talk about the spurge nettle in my video, the on the trail video on uh, poisonous plants, the toxic trees. So you guys can look at that one if you want and learn a little bit about the spurge nettle. You might want to learn to recognize it because it's one that if you get stung by it, it will light you up. It's a, it hurts. Anyway, enough said about that. So the other eight things here are the petals. Remember the petals and the sepals are designed to attract in the insects, attract in the pollinators as much as possible. So we're gonna go ahead and get these four large petals and four small petals off. And that leaves us down, once the corolla is gone, that leaves us down to just the basic reproductive part of this particular flower. Now, most of this area right here, this is where all of the stamen uh, were. Remember, the stamens are the male parts of this plant. You can see on my finger the pollen that's covering my finger. These stamen right here, you can see them right there, that's a stamen, and you can see the pollen that is now all over my fingers. Uh, there's lots and lots of pollen. The stamen in this, where in other plants, the stamen kind of stick up uh, on the outside. and this, the stamen are all around the bottom. And I just pick one up here. And they still have the same anatomy as the other stamen. You have right here, you have the uh, anther, which is what's producing the pollen. That's the anther. And it is raised up on the filament. And that's the little purple bit right there. Purple bit is what holds the anther up. And then the idea is that it draws in the insects and the insects will then crawl around onto the, uh, the anthers. They'll get pollen all over them like my fingers have. And then they, as they're crawling out of the flower, they go past all of these little curly cues. Each of these curly cues is its own carpal. This is the pistil of the flower, the female part. Each of those little curly cues is its own carpal. And that consists of the stigma, which is the tip, the style, and then the ovaries on the inside. Remember, pollination is all about getting the pollen from the anther over onto the pistil. And these have little sticky drops of stuff on them to help that pollen to stick so that we can have pollination. Fertilization is different. Fertilization is where the pollen grain sticks onto one of the little, uh, one of the little the stigma, which is the tip of the pistil. And uh, at the tip of that stigma, the pollen grain sticks there, and then the pollen grain drills a tube down through the style, which is the tube, 
and that allows, that tube allows the sperm that is inside, oh, I got another little anther there, the sperm that's inside the pollen grain, that allows it to travel down that tube and unite with the egg, and that's the process of fertilization. So pollination, we get pollen from the anther over to the pistil, and then fertilization, we get the sperm from the pollen grain down to unite with the egg, which is inside the ovary. Now inside of here, this is a multiple type of fruit. In other words, there's lots of different pistils that all unite to create this fruit. If I cut down through the middle of it, just like this, you will see on the inside all of the little ova, each of those little white areas right around through here, those are the eggs of the plant. That's where the eggs are. Eventually, again, this is going to, when pollen hits those, it will cause those seeds to mature. Everything else, all of the corolla, the petals and the sepals will fall off. All the anthers, the stamen will all fall off. The pistils will all fall off, leaving the fertilized egg and the ovary here to begin to expand and create the fruit of the magnolia tree. Remember, a fruit is a swollen ovary of the plant. So that is the dissection of a dicotyledon. Remember, dicotyledon is a different group from the monocots. If you haven't seen the dissection on the monocot, you want to check it out. It's the first video that I did on the parts of a flower. This will be parts of a flower part two. So check them both out. It'll help you with that anatomy, help you to understand a little bit more about the amazing creation, God's amazing creation that are flowers. Fantastic things. <music>